Hello, truckers, and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. We are continuing our career mode in the International Lone Star, painted in international orange. Today, we have a load of forklifts heading from Lamar, Colorado, to Santa Fe, New Mexico. So, let's go ahead and hop in the cab and get ourselves out of here and on the way. Got to get through this gate and then... Uh Hopefully get out to the freeway relatively quickly. I'm not really sure how far it is. Uh, total drive time, according to the GPS, says 5 hours and 48 minutes. The total trip uh, length was 320-ish uh, miles, something like that. Make sure we don't get hit by anybody here. So ideally, we should be able to get this uh, load done, you know, a fair bit under the 30-minute mark. We were able to get most of the uh, six and a half hour runs in under that time, so we should be we should be fine. A little, a little bit longer of a run than we normally do, but we'll have to wait and see how it all turns out. Try to get ourselves through here with no issues. Watch that trailer. Make sure it doesn't hit that pole. Why are you stopping there, dude? All right. Well, fine. Pull, <laughs> make me pull in for a vehicle inspection. Boo! <laughs> boo, 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 boo. All right, here we go. To a stop. And there we go. 58,000 pounds for this load. The other load that we had was much, much heavier, but they were. it was also spread out over three trailers, so that also makes a difference. And away we go. Speed limit is 65 here. We'll get our cruise control set. I can't tell based off of what the GPS is doing over there what's going on. It looks like we're going to stay on this road for a minute. I guess I'll go ahead and get over if I can. Wait for this car to get out of my way. No, I'm going to stay here because I feel like these guys are... <laughs> I was gonna say I was gonna stay here because I feel like these guys are slowing down, and they, yeah, they are. They're slowing down and being ridiculous, and my sensor is going to slow me down if I get behind them. So we'll hang out here for a second. I'm kind of waiting to see what this uh, little SUV thing up here is going to do because if I pull in behind him and then he slows down, it's gonna slow me down. I'm already not doing the speed limit yet. Yeah, we're getting slowed down by traffic in front of us. There we go. So the speed limit is 65, but we're getting slowed down to 20 something because of the traffic in front of us. Primarily because of that truck up there. I don't know what he's doing. He's taking his he is taking his sweet little time trying to get wherever it is he's going. Apparently he has no sense of, you know, getting places on time. There's really no there's no way around these guys because it's the line is too long. So we're kind of stuck waiting for this. All right, get ourselves around this curve. Arkansas River. Ugh. <laughs> I think we're gonna get stuck at this light here. I don't, I don't, I don't think we're gonna make it through because that truck is accelerating insanely slowly. Yep, we're gonna get stuck at the light. All right. Well, I'll see you guys back in a second once this, once we're done with this light. And off we go. Yeah, speed limit of 25 through here. Hopefully, we can get through this pretty quickly. Try to be a little bit, yeah. Just trying to be a little bit careful as I came through here because I knew I needed some room, but then there's going to be oncoming traffic and not much I can do about that. The AI never gives you room, so you have to just kind of take some liberties there. All right, get our cruise control set up to 45 now that we're up to that. And hopefully we can get on, the, uh, on some highways here and make up some of this time that we just lost because driving through that town really sucked. 
got stuck behind a lot of traffic. Hopefully the speed limit will pop up to 60 something here pretty soon. Fifty-five is better than better than forty-five. <laughs> Gotta get through these. Uh, I think we're driving back down the same road that we came up because we're going back down to New Mexico. Uh, we are going to somewhere new, so it's not it's not going to be. Uh, I mean, I know it, it's going to be somewhat of the same roads, but it is going to be a new destination. So hopefully, we can get to the point where we're going to find something new and interesting. ourselves slowed down and ready for a left turn and as usual I was gonna say and as usual I think I'm gonna get stuck oh nope come on all right go 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 we gotta get back we gotta get through here before the light changes all right that works okay I certainly hope this is taking us to another another highway or something, and it's not just some arbitrary detour that the GPS decided we needed to take. This It's going parallel to the route that we would have been taking. Going parallel to the route that we would have been taking. Okay, yeah, so it, it's, it's kind of curving off to the left there. That's good. Let it sit here at 30 miles an hour until we're able to get out of this there's just a lot of in the little towns areas on this route and it's kind of annoying me <laughs> I want to be up at freeway speeds man I want to be going we gotta go 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 all right come on we need to we need a speed limit increase here Ah, 65 there we go all right hopefully it's gonna be smooth sailing the rest of the way <clears throat> Trinidad 60 miles nice big open field Driving right along a train track. Be cool if we could get a train to go by while we're driving around, driving this way. Nice little bridge here for oh, it's like for a wash or something. <clears throat> Dropping down to 55 for some reason, not sure why. And back up to 65. Hopefully we don't have too many of those. We just crossed. I think that was that was the uh, New Mexico border sign. I love these uh, little bridges over nothing. <laughs> I'm assuming it's meant for flooding, flood control, so that the road doesn't get washed out when it, you know, on the on the rare occasions where it rains out in the desert, usually it's a flooding concern, even when it's not a lot of rain. So you got to have a lot of flood control. You got to have a lot of flood control to uh, help out with that. All these cranes over here, it's because they're putting up the. I think they're putting up the. The wind turbines. Yeah, you can see over there they're putting up a wind turbine. So that's pretty cool. Putting up several wind turbines. I imagine that's a delivery location. If I was doing some kind of wind turbine load, we would be delivering over there. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> it's kind of fun to do those kinds of weird exotic loads when they look kind of weird on the back. So at some point, we'll definitely get our own trailer so that we can really start focusing on some of the more visually interesting loads. Uh, but, you know, kind of have to. All right. So it definitely wasn't a border sign then. I don't know what I don't know. Oops, too busy looking at the sign there. I don't know what that sign is for. I didn't get a chance to read it before it kind of became something else. Got about three hours left, and I think it's actually getting dark right now. So a fair portion of this is going to be at night. Might want to, I might want to take a look at the uh, delivery time because it may it may make sense for us to stop off at a rest area and sleep. Expected Sunday at. Sorry, my truck is slowing down. Expected Sunday by six in the morning. It is currently Saturday at eleven. So yeah, we don't have time to sleep. Unfortunately, we don't have time to sleep. 
speed limit has dropped down to 50 miles an hour as we pass through this little town here and of course it drops down to 35 everything's got to be 35 through these little towns I guess we're turning off to the left got a little junction up here <clears throat> well unfortunately cruise control is now done while we wait for the light here bad feeling that I'm gonna get stuck at this light because I have I think I have a couple of trucks in front of me so just to be safe we'll go ahead and well let's see what happens and get through okay I guess we're gonna make it never mind <clears throat> with any luck we'll get up to this junction over here and be able to uh, breeze right through that it's like kind of a pretty little town, though. Ah, oh, horse statues. Kind of makes me want to go visit it, visit it in real life. Uh, here we go, getting stuck at lights again. It looks like we're getting on a freeway here pretty soon. That, that's a freeway up there, so ideally we want... <laughs> Mr. Maso Jim. Captain of... Uh, the famous store of Captain Seashell. Lots of I like the statues that they have along the sidewalks there. It's kind of cool. There's a bar over there. Too bad we can't stop for that. I could go for a drink. <laughs> I'm a beer drinker. What do you? Let me know in the comments what you like to drink. Beer, whiskey, wine, specific brands. I like uh, I, my favorite. My favorite is a Hefeweizen. Shock Top is my favorite. My favorite commercial brand, but you know, Hefeweizen in general is my favorite style of beer. If I can get a really good craft Hefeweizen, that's even better, but you know, you take what you can get. Hoff, uh, uh, Shock Top and then uh, the other. Whoa, 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 whoa! I don't know why you felt the need to completely stop right there. Can you go? Or is there traffic in front of us? really irritates me when things just stop and I can't see what's going on and we're just sitting here for no reason and he's turning anyway what a jackass Ugh! I hate I hate traffic I really hate traffic I'm not a fan I'm not a fan all right off we go All right, uh, Shock Top, and then uh, what's the other big? I haven't had, I haven't been able to get beer in a very long time. Uh, Shock Top, and then the other, the other half of Eisen major brand out there. It's even bigger than Shock Top. I can't, but I, just, I can't remember what it's called. It'll come to me eventually. Let me know in the comments if I don't remember it by the end of this. Let, remind me what it is because I, I just can't remember. All right, 65 is the speed limit. We are transitioning into nighttime. And unfortunately, we're just gonna have to push through because we don't have time to stop. Fifty-five for the turn. Uh, we have to stop at another way station. This is the second one for this trip. All right, slowing down. So let's put up into here. Go stop. All right, glad we get to see that number again. Let's go. <clears throat> it's like the game is going out of its way to make this take longer than 30 minutes. We're still at the three hour mark. <laughs> We got, we're 15 minutes in and we're still at the three hour mark. It's taking forever to get through this. Get our turn signal on. All right, off we go. Hopefully we can finally make some time here. We can stop having traffic getting in the way and stop having like this, this right here. This is what's slowing us down. Constantly getting behind slow drivers, drivers that just stop for no reason. Ugh, this is one of the more frustrating drives that I've had on this series. It would be nice if everybody would pull their heads out of their butts and actually start going somewhere. 
It's gonna bug me until I remember. Why are my lights not on? Weird. Um, it's gonna bug me until I remember what the name of that beer brand is. <laughs> I don't like it as much as Shock Top, but it's still pretty good. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's bugging me. I can't remember what it is. All right, well, he got out of our way. Fortunately, we were already at the speed limit anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. <clears throat> Gotta love the lights. I love lights. Down to two and a half hours now. Really hoping that we're gonna we're gonna squeeze in under that thirty-minute mark. It's take it's been taking forever to get through this, and it's mostly because of traffic. Traffic has just really been slowing us down a lot. It's nice to finally be on a stretch of road where we can just go, though. All of that, all of the stopping in those small towns was just really getting irritating. And unfortunately, I think we're probably going to end up running into that again. Well, I don't know. I forget. I forget where we're going. <laughs> I think we're actually going to a relatively large area, so hopefully the freeway will take us pretty much pretty close to our destination, and we won't have to drive through any more of that small stuff. But the unfortunate truth is, is that if we're going to unlock as much of them, as, as many of the destinations as we can, there's just going to be a lot of small town driving, and that's kind of where we are in our career right now. We're we're trying to unlock as many of the little towns and stuff as we can because it's you know it's fun to go explore when you're not getting slowed down by you know ridiculous traffic <laughs> it's always the caveat to that everything is fun until you start to run into resistance and then it becomes irritating at least for me i i find i find unnecessary difficulty and delays very annoying and that's just the kind of person that i am don't know what to tell you. You can tell me all. You can tell me all day that I need to. I need to fix that. But that's just. I'm. I'm in the second half of my life at this point, and I am who I am. And it just things bother me. Things bother me, and they're going to bother me. They're going to continue bothering me. <laughs> Once you get past a certain age, trying to change the default behavior patterns that you have becomes more and more difficult. And it's just the way it is. <clears throat> I was going to try to get around these guys, but uh, I've got a car here in front of me. So over we go. Hopefully we can get back up to the speed limit that we were trying to be. I'm so glad they decided to slow down, and then as I moved over, they, they sped back up. Like, you guys suck. So now I'm over here in the left lane for no reason other than I have a feeling it's going to slow down again. And I don't want to. I don't want my sensor to slow me down because of them. I want to stay over here and get moving. <clears throat> Got places to be, loads to deliver, deadlines to meet, and um, you know, obviously, we want to get out of the darkness here. So there's always that. You know, I think. Give me a second. I'm gonna adjust a mod real quick. All right, I disabled some of the headlight stuff in the hopes that it's going to fix some of the excessive darkness that we've been experiencing. I, th I, I think that's what's been messing with the, the darkness out here. Like, obviously, we're out in the desert, so it's going to be really, really dark. But, like, before I, don't, before, I don't think we could see that light, the lighting off to the right there. And a lot of the headlights and stuff, I feel like they're, I feel like they're showing up a little bit earlier now. So... Bit over here to the right. Get our cruise control set. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, we're down to an hour and ten minutes, so I'm not really sure how long that's actually going to take us to get done. Time and distance are very relative in this game. Yeah, I feel like the lights and stuff are showing up much further out now that I've turned those headlight mods off. So yeah, we'll just we'll 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 stick with the defaults. That's fine. It's not that big of a deal. It it still allows us to see. That's ridiculous. 
vote 2024. <laughs> okay. I don't know that I appreciate having political things thrown in, but whatever. The video game. It's supposed to be an escape from the real world, not having you guys shove that stuff in my face. If I want to vote, I'll go vote. And if I don't, I won't. Leave me alone. All right, anyways, yeah, I feel like this, it, I don't know, it feels better. Maybe it's just my imagination, but it feels like lights, lights, lighted objects are showing. Why are we slowing down so hard? Ugh. I'm not sure how my sensor would have known that traffic was stopping like that, but whatever. Speed limit 65. Do our best to not wiggle all over the road, but I also want to make sure we're going quickly because we have destinations to we have destinations to reach. All right, come on. Some relatively sharp turns for a freeway here. Gotta get around it. Come on. All right, I see our destination, uh, our destination rings up there, so we should be able to squeak this in under the 30-minute mark. I need to get over though. I need this bus driver to move out of my way. All right. Back up to 75, but our exit's coming up pretty soon, so... We're gonna have to, uh... Oh yeah, we're going to Santa Fe. <laughs> I knew it was a big town. I remember recognizing the name. It's just, as usual, certain things just drop out of my head after a little bit, and names are one of them. Alright, off we go. Exiting the freeway here. Right. Uh, I'm not sure how we're getting onto this road here. Yeah, there's a merge. So let me get my. Oh, the train. Gonna make a left turn here. I have a feeling we just missed the light. Oh, the train's over here to our left, so we're stuck here for the train, anyways. Ugh. Are we gonna get a left? Are we gonna get the left? Why was it? I'm confused. I I missed my turn because I was staring at the train. Ah, lame. Super lame. I think I missed my turn because I was staring at the train. I didn't see it turn green after the uh, after the train passed. That's annoying. Now we gotta sit and wait for this. Boo. All right, light should be getting ready to turn here. Ourselves to our destination and get this load dropped off. Speed limit is 35. But fortunately, our destination is right up here on the right, so. Shouldn't be too difficult to get done. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Another train coming. Awfully busy. All right, so I need to swing out a little wide here. Hoping that we're gonna make it around the corner here. Realistically, I probably should have backed into this, but it's too late now. Yeah, I'm gonna have to.
have to kind of pull out and then back. All right, um, I don't even know if this is gonna be feasible, but we'll try. I have a vague idea of what's in front of my truck even without looking, so I'm not just blindly backing. There was a fair there was a fair amount of luck with that because I didn't hit anything, but I was relatively sure I wasn't, so it wasn't just completely blind backing. Alright. Well, hopefully you guys had lots of fun. Be sure to click that like button so the YouTube algorithm knows that you did and sends the video out to more viewers. We want to get as many people along for these drives as we can, and that can only happen if you help out. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed so that when the next video comes out, it will show up in your feed and you'll be able to watch it as soon as it becomes available. Channel members do get early access to all of my videos, so be sure to click that join button, check out the list of perks that will become available depending on the tier that you select and decide if any of those are right for you. Your support is greatly appreciated and will help me build this channel into something that uh, could be potentially be a long-term career. Again, thank you very much for your time. I hope you guys had fun and I'll see you for the next one.